This right here is an IKEA wall clock. I got this all the way back for my birthday in 2015. And it's after my grandparents came back from Sweden. They got me a lot of clocks from IKEA that year. And overall it's been working nicely ever since I got it. Hasn't had any issues. This right here is a Sharp Atomic Wall Clock. I got this for Christmas last year, and it's been keeping good time. It does change on, like, whenever, like, on Daylight Savings, it does change an hour ahead or an hour behind. I haven't recorded that process, but, but I will sometime. And also, unfortunately, the glass is broken, but yeah. besides that, it's pretty good. This right here is a tire clock. I got this for Christmas about in 2019, and um, it works nicely. It's pretty heavy, but yeah. This right here is a frog clock. This one, my grandparents gave me this a um, while back. And they actually had this for a really long time. I can remember like being in their living room and I can hear this clock, which was at the other, which is in the other side of the house. It's pretty loud. But yeah, overall, it's really nice. This right here is a Star Wars themed clock. I have no idea where I got this. I just found this stored away somewhere downstairs and brought it up here. And first it didn't work so I replaced the movement and now it works. This one right here is a farm themed clock. This one my grandparents gave me um, a couple years ago. Um, it's pretty big. I had this hanging on the higher part of my wall, but then I had a fear that it would come falling down one day, so I moved it to the lower part of the wall. This clock right here is a clock that I bought at Michael's a few years ago. Unfortunately, it does not work, and um, I wouldn't say it's a complete giant. This one right here is a wood clock made by Sterling and Noble. I have no clue where I got this. But, um, looks like I got it from Target, maybe. Though I don't think I went to Target in the year that I got this. So, I have no clue where I got it. This one right here is another Sterling & Noble clock. This one's pretty fancy. Unfortunately, the minute hand is loose, and this clock doesn't really work. I got this at Savers for about $9. Here's a big black wall clock. This one is very fancy. I got this one for Christmas in 2019 as well. This one right here is a giant light-up wall clock. This is the biggest clock in my collection. It's, um... Got this for my birthday. And... At night, it will light up. Or when it's dark out. This right here is just a simple clock from Target. Um... This one is probably my latest Target purchase. And it was only $5, so these clocks are pretty common. Here's another one. This one I also got at Target, but I got this one all the way back in 2017, which was five years ago. Or actually, by the time I upload this, it'll probably be six years ago. Here's another clock from Ikea. This one 
Um, I don't remember who gave this to me. This one has a blue second hand. This one right here is a grape clock. This is actually the first clock I ever got at Savers. And I've actually had this for about six years now, almost. And at first it didn't work, so I had to replace the movement. And it took until about this, like, January for me to get a replacement movement. Or actually, I got it for Christmas. But then I, I replaced it in January, and now it works. This one right here is a simple Ingraham wall clock. This one's green. I got this at Savers for about $5.00 like, before the pandemic even, like, this is, like, pretty old, still feels like a very recent clock, but I, I did have this one for a while now. This one right here is a Thomas Kincaid, uh, clock. This one is Christmas themed, it's got a red case, and it will play Christmas melodies every hour. And I got this one at Savers for $4, but I don't remember when. This clock right here is another one made by Ikea. Um, I think I got this for my birthday in 2018. And it's got colorful numbers. This one right here is another Ikea clock. This one I got seven years ago for my birthday. And overall, I'd say that it's definitely a really nice one. It's made of metal. I think pretty much almost all of the rest of them are made out of plastic. This one's metal. This right here is an Ikea clock. This one I actually have two of. This one right here was in my father's at-home office until I kind of stole it. And, well, unfortunately it doesn't work anymore, but it used to. This one right here is another one. This one also sometimes will stop. But this one... For some reason, it'll stop, and there's many issues with the hands and stuff. This one right here is a clock from the 15th anniversary of Disney World. It's actually a Coca-Cola advertisement as well. As you can see, it says Coca-Cola, and it's got Disney characters as the numbers, and it's got the Disney castle on top, and... There's something else at the bottom as well. I don't. I haven't been to Disney World since I was super little, so don't ask me what those are. Uh, my grandparents got me this one when they went on a trip, like a while back. This one right here is an octagonal wall clock. This one's in the shape of an octagon, and this one was at my sister's play theater. Like, my sister was at a play theater, and then there was... They had an auction, and they were selling this clock, so my parents got it, and... Well, it actually works, so... Yeah. This one right here is a mini schoolhouse clock. I got this at Savers for about... Four dollars, and... Um... The original movement, um, did work, but it was like... Pretty much like draining bet, like fully, full batteries, like fully charged batteries within like a few hours. So, um, I replaced the movement with one that can work for a while longer, but unfortunately, I don't have any hands that can fit that movement, so this clock is, uh, Gonna have to remain without hands until I can find some. This one right here is a Superman clock. My grandparents gave this to me very recently. 
Unfortunately, it doesn't work. But, um... Still, really cool. This right here is a, um... Clock made out of old computer parts. Um... My grandparents gave this to me. I think somebody at my grandpa's workplace gave this to him and had it hanging on the wall in his house for a while and then he decided to give it to me. Overall, this is a really cool clock. This one right here is a Hallmark Christmas themed wall clock. This song will play Christmas melodies every hour, but um, there are only three Christmas melodies. Oh yeah, and I got this for my birthday about six years ago, and it's it's a really nice looking clock. Like all these things will move as the clock plays melodies and stuff. Yeah, this one right here is an abacus wall clock. Got this at Savers for about nine dollars. Didn't come with a pendulum, so the pendulum that is on it is a spare one that I had. And unfortunately, it's a little long, but it does do the job. And this this clock plays Westminster Chime every hour, and is probably the second loudest speaker clock in my collection. This right here is a pearl wall clock. Now, this one, when my grandparents went to Vietnam a few years ago, they got this at a clock store. And it's a really nice clock. It it shows the temperature and humidity at the bottom. And I really like it. This one right here is a Timekeeper Schoolhouse wall clock. I got this one all the way back in 2015, and originally it chimed, but the chimes broke, unfortunately, and I replaced the movement because um, the click sound at the hour was pretty loud, and well, now this clock is um, has golden hands on the movement now. And the pendulum, the original pendulum broke, so I had this spare pendulum left over from another clock similar to it, and I put that on. It's kind of big, but it doesn't seem to make be making any sound right now. This one right here is a quartz Seth Thomas wall clock. Um, this one, unfortunately, doesn't work, but for some reason, the pendulum... Like, the thing that's supposed to, like, hold the pendulum keeps swinging. And... This clock doesn't have a pendulum, and unfortunately I used all my spare pendulums, but... Um, I'll see if I can get more. This right here is a Seiko triangular wall clock. This is actually my mother's clock, but it's in here because we're doing renovations outside of this room. And well, I just figured I'd like to show you. So yeah, I gave her this for Christmas a long time ago. And it's supposed to be hanging in the living room or dining room, but um, right now it's in here. This right here is a... Bedford Westminster chime wall clock. This clock has another chiming option, which is um, which will play a piece by Beethoven called Fur Elise. But I have it set on Westminster since uh, don't know that any of you would know Fur Elise. And then also this clock can also be set on just striking. But yeah, I got this clock off of Amazon for eighty dollars and. It's a really nice clock. It's pretty big. Um, can't fully fit it in the uh, camera because, unfortunately, it's I can't move the tripod back because my bed's in the way. And yeah, but yeah, overall, 
This is a very nice clock. 